Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I am joined by Anna and Christian. What up? Hello. So uh, tonight, uh, by uh, by request, uh, we're doing Grimlock uh, Studio Series eighty six Grimlock. I should say. Rob that was, was really, Rob was really confused. Because he was like, well, I guess I can do Grimlock with you guys, too. But it's weird that you're doing such an old figure. And I'm like, no, not that not that Studio Series Grimlock. The new Studio Series Grimlock. Yes, I could get down the other Studio Series Grimlock. But he has a very important role in my room of being Shocklock. There you go. Well, you can or have a new... Is the best. You can have a new mascot here. That's true. I could put the Shocklock helmet onto this Grimlock and see just just what happens. How he I like Shocklock. I miss Shocklock. He should come down, but that's so far away. <laughs> My arms are short. They can't reach that far. So just, we're here to talk about this little duck tonight. He's here. He's yeah. big. He's a dinosaur. We got a new duck. Yeah. Not really a duck. I always thought like Grimlock could have had a duck tail, especially this version. I like think he's very ducky. So I feel like this is tail. kind of a return to Waddles. an actual leader class figure. I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Beast Wars Megatron was the same way. Um, but it, it's nice to actually get a bigger figure. Um, so and Not a Voyager plus stuff. stiff. Yeah. Right. Right. I agree. And it's a character that should be big, so it's nice. Right. Yeah, it's nice that they are actually doing the Dinobots like the way that we want them rather than like, you know, making it a combiner or just whatever kind of... The combiner ones weren't terrible, but if they do finish out the group in this hmm. scale, it's going to be great. Right. I just going to show this because I think some people have exaggerated how close in size he is to the MP. Not very. He's actually significantly I think, smaller. I think in the uh, uh, robot mode, he's actually closer, isn't he? Probably. I don't know. I don't feel like transforming this thing to robot mode because it's rickety. Yeah, right. It's gotten a little rickety in its old age. It can still twirl its head a little bit, kind of. But anyway... That's the MP. It's pretty. It is pretty. It's loud, too, right? It makes a lot of noise when you handle it now. Yeah. It's definitely kind of loosened up. So do we want to start by talking about dino, dino duck mode? Sure. Ah. All right. So here he is, dino duck mode. And he looks exactly like he should. I really like it. He's good. Yeah, he's a very he's a very good estimation of Grimlock. A lot better than the Power of the Primes version, for sure. Yes. Oh, that one was gosh. bad. That one was a real mess. Let's see. Oh, here's here's my Power of the Primes one. It's like not the greatest. You actually have a dinosaur mode though. That's nice. That was yeah. pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, I just happen to have it down there, like on a bottom shelf. Like, like, like the front part of him is fine, and then the back part of him is awful. A bit of a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. But this Grimlock is, well, not I guess I can't say proportionate because we've learned since the '80s that Tyrannosaurus look different than this. But he looks like he should. Yeah, because this was this was Grimlock a thousand years ago, right? This is this is the toy that millions of children got. He's pretty what? close to it in a lot of ways, right? I think so. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, I'm curious what the toy hacks is going to do. Like, are they going to do a, a full on like sticker set to make them look like more like the G1 toy? Probably. That's what they usually do. Yeah. So he definitely doesn't have, um, he isn't as close of an homage to the toy as the MP was. Like, you know, they didn't bother trying to approximate his um, cockpit that he has left over from his previous life. Um, but that's not but really I would the say objective this whole line. studio series. Yeah. Right. No, it's not. I'm, I'm just saying it's a little bit different in that, you know, there's no way to give him red eyes. 
unless I missed that feature. If if this was a thing you that you can give them red eyes by out, putting paint in them, I wouldn't Perfect. be surprised if we saw like a toy version come down the line later. Yeah. It might, it might, because it's a little different than the toy version. You know, but like, if, I mean, if, like if this does what fans toys things do, and like everyone's like, oh, it's the best Grimlock, and then everyone buys it and sells that. I, I can imagine that Hasbro would re-release it with the toy colors. I've always. I've always said about these figures is like when we do get toy accuracy, it's stupid. So I'm actually happy that it isn't toy accurate and that it's yeah. cartoon accurate because, you know, that's what I actually want in my figures is cartoon accuracy and Studio Series is doing that instead of, right, I agree, Randall. I agree with you. Um, well, what, what everyone wants are, to see is how does Wheelie interact with him? Is, in, does, the oh, case yeah. assortment, does the case assortment, is it just straight Grimlock? Or do they yeah, have another leader figure? So, I mean, that's the other thing, too, is, like, I feel like you'll actually be able to get this figure considering that, like, all the cases are just are just Grimlock. Yeah, that may change later in the year. We've, we've heard that Slag is coming next. So then it would be 50-50 Grimlock Slag, presumably. Yeah. You think he'll get named Slag or Slug? You know... I'm not even sure right now. They've gotten back some interesting names with the Walmart reissues of the uh, Headmasters. I imagine they'll probably use Slug. It's probably Slug because not... isn't Slag isn't that like a slang? For slag is a yeah. prostitute in Britain. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why they would silly British people. So like, I feel, I feel like the Wheelie figure in general is like totally unneeded. Like, I mean, if they didn't put Wheelie in the box. Right. Like, I still feel like I'd be getting my money's worth, but yeah. like, I am not a huge fan of, of this figure just because of like, I, like, I, I wish that they would have just done it right to where like he actually had moving, like that his knees moved and, and all that kind of thing. Like, I don't know. Yes. Here's the thing with Wheelie. We want him to be a full transforming playable Wheelie figure. But what he really is, is he's that accessory you need to recreate that one time that one thing happened. And I think if you think about it that way, and like the MP accessories, where we always get these accessories, just like in that one episode, this happened. Well, one time yeah. in the Transformers movie, Willie rode on Grimlock's neck and shot a slingshot, right? And you can recreate that scene faithfully. Right. And Willie doesn't actually look bad when he does that no, and he does only that. that. He's fine. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's fine. it's fine. I I mean, I actually think that the wheelie is painted pretty well. Um, yeah. it, you know, it actually looks nice, other than the like gaps or whatever on the inside of the legs, which you can kind of hide. Um, but it it is painted well. I just wish like if they would have just put knee joints on them and elbow joints, like it would have been so much. Yeah, it doesn't even have to figure. transform. If it just I don't moves, need it to transform. Be nice. But I, I think it would have been nice to have that I, extra. I do think this probably informs the Daniel that we've heard that's coming, because we've heard that it's Slag and Daniel. So yeah. if this is kind of that, or this is the precursor to that, then I'm okay. Probably. I'd rather have something like this than that um, exosuit that came with the Buzzworthy Bumblebee. I agree. I keep wanting to go get it just because i want an exosuit in my display for this but uh, it it's awful look, it's bad so if the, if the new daniel is this thing then i'm i'm fine and i'm gesturing to it because it's right over here i've got mine in bot mode so he's got a port to sit on grimlock's shoulder here yeah but he's fine i've seen people take this wheelie head off and put it on the titan's return one and it seems to fit and look good so oh yeah, that's for you that might be a good idea out. The Titus Return one it. is pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine that they would need to do that one again. Uh, I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't complain if we get a new wheelie. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't complain either. Like, I, I feel like wheelie is always a little bit hard to do, you know? Like, I, I thought yeah, the Titus Return sure. one was, was pretty good, but... And this one, like, honestly, when you think about the ways you would want to display Wheelie in your collection, what is actually a more fun way to display him than riding Grimlock? Like, that really exactly. is, like, that, that is the point where Wheelie was fun. Unless he's on Sludge's nose. That, that's the only one I would say is more fun. But that's just a new yeah. thing. 
yeah, and that would, that would be a fine accessory too. But I think this really is like the best usage of Wheelie because he is such an on lights character. Yeah. Generally, yeah. I don't mind him. I've never minded Wheelie. So the, the actual the Grimlock himself, like it's almost a little bit weird that there's no like there's molded detail, but there's no like painted detail on his legs. Um, I don't know if that bothers you guys at all. On his fine. beast mode legs. Yeah, right. His shoulders. Yeah, he's, got the, so, he's got the toes. You know, like the MP had these little red pieces, little red and white pieces. And this does not have them. Like, it just seems like that there's a lot of gray, you know, in, uh, you know, it's not bad. It does, but you know what's really interesting? We often say that the detailing on these figures gets lost in the plastic. I think it's just a certain color thing, but like with some streaker, we talked about it with Trailbreaker, we talked about it because that detail just get lost in that bright yellow or that dark black. All the detail is really easy to see in this gray plastic, which is nice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, so I think it makes that lack of paint look less bad. Like you guys said, we might get Shapeways stickers, or not Shapeways, but um, Toy Hack stickers in order to finish them up and give them that toy detail, which I guess is fine. You know, it's really just like weird little space stickers. I, I, I feel like, honestly, I'm like trying to come up with things to nitpick, you know, like, like these are all like small nitpicks. Like it's such a good thing. You don't need to right. come up like with you... things to nitpick because I got a list. Yeah. You can get so... toy stickers if you want it to look like your toy. Right. Yeah. Right. That's, 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 that's a you thing. That's not what this one's accomplishing. They might accomplish it later, but I'm sure Reaper labels will get you before that happens. Yeah. So, Anna, what are all your nitpicks for, like... So, I just uh, feel like, you know, in a lot of ways, this is really a second stab at the MP design. It's very similar to the MP design in both modes, um, especially the dinosaur mode. You know, the biggest difference being that he has the, like, chubby duck tail instead of the more lizard-like dinosaur tail. As to which one's accurate to the real animal it's portraying, I have no idea. But, you know, this is what they did for the MP. This is what the G1 tail looked like. And this, I think, is actually more cartoon accurate to have the little ducky short tail. But, you know, that's something you might care about. The only thing that really bothers me in Dinosaur Mode, I guess, one, is that, like, Lucas and I were talking technically to make him fit tight together. You put the gun sideways on his back. That's weird. I don't quite yeah, get it. But... I, I would say that that's probably you know, one of my small nitpicks about the figure yeah. is, is like, I don't like that the gun goes sideways like that. And like, he's still solid without the gun, but it right. like, makes it just a little bit extra solid. Um, and so like, that's, that's kind of weird that they did it that if way. If the word on his back, um, I would like it better. And I would just say, you know, he's had this hinge, you know, these two hinge chunks with a divot in the back. Grimlock has always had this, right? Like, his G1 version does, in fact, have it. They're much smaller. The divot is less deeper. But they're there, for sure. And on the original G1 figure, they're just they're just hinges. You know, they're it's a toy. It has hinges in order to function. On the MP figure, they left the hinges, but they molded them as, like, a jetpack type deal, where he has little jets, and this doesn't go very deep. I don't actually like the way that this one has just a little bit of all the detail where it doesn't quite look like a jetpack and then just has a very deep divot here. I think that's actually so you can put Willie's leg in it partially, but you know, I just don't like it. But then again, as everyone will say, who's going to display him from the back, maybe from the side because he's a dinosaur, but probably not from the back. So, you know, probably not that important of a complaint. You know, it was, it was funny whenever, we were talking about this earlier. I actually was having a hard time trying to find back pictures of the MP or like some of the other Grimlocks because like literally no one displays them like that. No one cares. Right. Um, yeah. Kind of thing. But I mean, I don't know. I actually think it looks good. Like I think it looks clean. I, I think it looks better than the masterpiece personally. Like I think my biggest complaint with the masterpiece really in, you know, both modes is like the proportions are kind of off. Um, and so, like, I feel like the proportions are, are better with this, so I, I don't know. 
I definitely think the MP looks better in dinosaur mode than this one does. I don't think it does in robot mode, which we'll get to in a minute. But I mean, this one's just, I don't know, like, it has the gappiness here in the back, but I think it pulls it off a little better than just like, you know, this just has a couple weird little gaps in the back, which aren't bad, aren't a big deal. They just stand out more on this version. Which, I mean, you know, should we really be comparing it to the MP? Probably with the age. It's probably... Uh oh, sorry. Are you you, uh, you cut out for one second. What'd you say? Oh, I said we're probably not as bad for comparing this to the MP as a lot of things, since this MP is twelve years old. Right. It's probably a more fair comparison than like comparing Earthrise to MP forty four and all that nonsense. It's probably right. more fair in this case. Right. Yeah. But no, yeah, I, mean, I think that this is. It. I, I think kind of like you said, this is kind of like an updated version of like another stab at the masterpiece kind of yeah, design really and like simplified. Is. But I mean, I don't know. Grimlock transformation is a Grimlock transformation kind of thing. Yeah. Like you might want to say like, oh, the arms articulate less than they do on the MP, but good grief. Do they move better than they did on the G1 figure? So because <laughs> these G1 figure arms were just, you know, a little thing. They were like, side mirrors hanging off the side so you know it's still way better than that so i would say you know this is probably the second best dinosaur grimlock we've ever gotten i think so I, I do think the mp is the best dinosaur grimlock we've gotten but i would say it's the second best to me like as far as for dino mode yeah yes um, second so. best dinosaur grimlock I, I mean, I do think that the arms are are very solid, though, too. Like, I yeah, mean, I do cool. really like how, how kind of solid and, like, chunky they are. Because, like, some of the mainline Grimlocks that we've gotten before, like, the arms are not great. Like, One thing we didn't mention that a lot of people have pointed out is that um, Toothies, right? He doesn't have front teeth. It's a, it's a strange thing. Like, if you don't look for it, if you're just laying it from the side, it's not a big deal. But when you look at it, it's just like, wow, he doesn't have front teeth. It really stands out for a minute that you forget. So it's probably not a big deal. Um, the MP, in fact, had five front teeth. The G1 actually only had two, now that I look at it. it had two front teeth. So... You know, why did he go to no front teeth? Probably just a weird molding issue of some sort. But it's a little strange. I've seen that people are already making upgrade kits to add teeth. I might actually have to get one of those. I, I hadn't noticed it, and now I notice it, and it's like, mm. I know. Like, I, I'm the exact same way. I totally did not notice that at all until you said something, and now I can't Wait, notice really? It. There's yeah. been tons of posts about it. Like, lots just, of people have been talking about it. it. Immune to toothies. Well, he does not have front toothies. Hmm. A little strange, but like I said, once I get myself to look away from it, it doesn't bother me. But I can see why it bothers a lot of people. Plus, I do not plan to display this in dinosaur mode. This will be the first Grimlock I've ever owned that I don't really care to display in dino mode. I don't know which way I'll <laughs> go yet. Yeah, Phil, Phil in the chat says the same thing. Thanks, Anna. Well, you know what? You're all welcome. You're all welcome. Uh, oh, did he have hey. front teeth in the movie? That's a great question. I have no idea. Never, never asked him before. I'm sure that someone in the chat will ask the images in the next like four seconds. Let's say, can we, can we get Peter? To, uh, so. Oh, well, Randall will check. I know he will. Yeah, right. He's got our back. Or sort of. But anywho, like that, that's probably the biggest glary weirdness to me is the missing teeth. But the other things are nitpicks, right? That's my job here is to make nitpicks on mass release figures to show you the tiny little flaws that I actually don't care about, but I enjoy talking about. So he's in bot mode. And he is cool. So the bot mode, like just, I mean, like just uh, blows the masterpiece away yeah. as far as the proportions and whatnot. Look at and that. he's he's really solid too. Yeah, that's what's crazy to me is how much better this bot mode is than anything we've ever gotten from. <laughs> he's got these soft ratchets that are 
they're, they always, I'm going to call them soft because they're quiet, but they are rather you know, stiff in the legs. They are rather it's stiff. It's pretty great. He's got a lot of ratchets. But yeah. the coolest thing that I know that Anna likes to get on figures about is that his inner legs here have no gaps. Yeah. Not at all. His, his tail folds cool. up and, I mean, it's got the you know, teeniest hairline gap right there, but like, that's, I don't oh, think no, that it's counts. not bad at all. That's he not even a question I complain about. Arm gaps I know Anna's going to complain about because they're there and that they, you yeah, know, this feels like they could have put a panel in there and a $50 toy. Like they could have left out wheelie and made right uh, arm gaps. I would have taken there. that for sure. Trade wheelie for that. Wheelie is a fun accessory to me. I don't mind him at all, but I would rather not have the gaps in the arms because then I would have my perfect robot mogram lock and never have to worry about getting another one ever. But I'm sure somebody will make a kit for that yeah. too. It'll be teeth <laughs> and that and a sword. Be nice. He I do think he needs have a sword. swivel though. So he does have. He does have a swivel. Yeah. Even though he has yeah, I would have cap. liked to have a sword as well. That that would have been a nice accessory. I know he doesn't nice. use it in the movie, but he also doesn't use this rifle in the movie. I don't think either. I think he holds it briefly. I think he holds it. Yeah. I think he holds it in the scene before they go and attack. Yeah. I feel like I've seen that movie too many times not to have it completely memorized, but I don't have it know. memorized. I know when he flies away from Unicron after they you know, kick butt, he isn't holding anything. Yeah. He's just flying. Yeah, I don't know. Fun. It's odd. But, uh, you know, someone, Matrix Workshop or Shockwave's Lab or somebody will make a sword and everyone will have swords and it'll be fine. It's just odd not to have it these days. Yeah, and I, I forgot to check, but I, I think my, because I have the oversized KO of Volcanicus, and it came with a bunch of swords. And if the holes are the same size, it'll actually be a cool big sword to put in his hand. Uh, so I need to see if it does. It's all, it's all five millimeter stuff, so it should be fine. I think it should be, yeah. So I should have a cool sword because I'll never take Volcanicus out of combined mode. Yeah, Randall he's says cool. he's got a kit with a sword and the brain transfer helmet. I don't really need a brain transfer helmet, but maybe a sword. Or maybe I'll just wait until all the Dinobots are out and get a whole sword thing at the end. We'll see. Yeah. But Possibly he's got a really good head. You know, it's, it's Grimlock-shaped head, but it feels uh, expressive, accurate. Yeah. Probably because it can move pretty well. It moves very well. He's got his it's blue also eyes. Big. Which, it is big. Big head. Grimlock mm -hmm. heads on the big toys head. haven't been big, but his animation model has always had a big head. So I think this is like the first time I've really got an appropriately large head on robot mode. I think if they were really, really, really going for cartoon accuracy, this wouldn't be gold. His It'd chest, be yellow. His, his neck would be yellow. But I am okay with this gold because it looks really good. It does look good. I honestly thought until the day I had it, I thought it was yellow. I thought they had used yellow because I was like, they're going for cartoon accuracy. So there will be yellow on him. No, it's not freaking yellow. It's gold. And doesn't make I me sad, but it's that. weird. But I, yeah, but I actually it think awesome. it's like a yellowish gold, though, you know? Yeah. And, and like, I think it, it actually it's works really well. Yeah, it's yeah. it's good. No, it's totally I think, fine. You know, if they made the yellow, it ended up being like bright, blindingly bright, like the uh, mech fins toys ones. Uh -huh. That one is blindingly bright. Those are really bright yellow. So I think this is good compromise for that. Yeah, well, I agree with that. I, like I, think it's good. I think the other thing is, is his legs, like the paint that they used on that is kind of like a metallic sheen. And it mm -hmm. looks really good. Boom. Booyah. And I also want to say, like, I... You know, Grimlock is not a complicated figure, character, right? Like, even MP Grimlock is not complicated. He's very simple. And this one is also not complicated. I never transform toys on camera. I hate doing it. But I did, because I knew it would only take a couple of edits to do. And even with my level of care, it wouldn't be too hard. I like See? that it's, you know, not complicated. Oh, it yeah, doesn't need to be. be. But There's but it's still head. fun. It's a Grimlock transformation. Oh, yeah. but it's a it's a fun, interesting transformation. Yes. Like I showed earlier, he does have a port on each of his shoulders for a wheelie to hang out and shoot people. So that's what he's doing on mine, at least for now. Yeah, and the other yeah. Dinobots show up. Maybe Wheelie will go into a box. But in my current shelf, uh, Grimlock is by himself, so he's a little bit lonely. Pew. He does need friends. He does need friends. 
I really hope we get his friends. Like, I hope that we get them and they're pretty and we like them all just as much as this. Because well, they man, already it's leaked. Nice to have. They've already, they already leaked, leaked one. one. Yeah. I so. hope so. Because if we get all of them in this size with this level of complexity and care, I'll be so happy. It makes me nervous that we haven't seen the others. And it, I agree. You know, it's studio series is weird because they only have a couple waves a year and they don't announce them very often. So it's like, it's, it's normal studio series stuff. Like it's business as usual, but right. when it's a group like the Dinobots who really haven't had very good updates until now, you kind of want to know that the whole group is coming. You really do. I really well, do. I think it worries you a little bit too because there's five of them, right? And if they're all going to be mm-hmm. leader class, like that's a lot of slots that you it have is. to worry about. And, you know, Snarl wasn't in the movie mostly. He was in like two shots because they lost his animation model and didn't animate him with the rest of the guys. So is Snarl not in studio series because he wasn't in the movie very much? Or are they just going to throw him in anyway? Or are they going to do four and not one? I don't know. I Snarl can't imagine me. that they would only do four. And yet, yeah. it could be years though. It could be years could before be years. we get all of them if they put, you know, just one in each assortment for a while because they don't want to have a ton of leaders. It could be years. The best, the best thing I've heard to get them all out quickly is to keep crossing over with the War for Cybertron line. Yeah, that's fine. Or whatever is after that, because some of them will be in studio series, some of them will be in whatever is next after. Uh, kingdom and whatever we'll get them all put them out yeah, in cyberverse buzzworthy bumblebee i mean you know whatever man <laughs> put them out get them i don't care but like how many leaders did we have in studio series last year i'm thinking it was two someone could yeah. totally correct me on that but i'm pretty sure it was just scavenger and overload last year Ron was saying you could squeeze swoop as a voyager and i i'd agree i with think that. i think that's probably okay I think that's what would happen. But I mean, Sludge especially needs to be a leader, if not bigger. Right. But like, if you go back to Studio Series again, like Overload and Scavenger were rather big leaders. Like they they were just right. big toys. Right. So I think there's some wiggle room a little bit in there. I think so too. I think it's just like, will they want to spend that much of their time on these guys? And since this is the collector focus line, I think they will. I but they will I, it's just hopeful they it's wishful thinking because I was just thinking like this replacing my set of MFT Dinobots I have up as my robot mode Dinobots right now would be so cool. Like it would be so much nicer to have these big guys. That are yeah, or or you could be like Christian big... and and who you know sold your uh, fans toys Dinobots and oh, yeah. now you have a worthy replacement. Yeah, I like those fans toys Dinobots. I don't regret selling them. Um, to speak to their size, Lucas or Anna, do you guys have like a normal deluxe around that you can show? Uh, probably. Um, yeah, I just have to stretch. Because they are impressively sized, or I guess the Grimlock is impressively sized. I got one. I got the Cupster. Yeah, and and they look properly scaled, or Grimlock looks properly scaled. So if all the other guys are about this size too, uh, I think it'll be grand. Grand. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it looks. He he is a big boy. So I like that. So my that's, one that's how big they are in the cartoon. So let's make them that big forever. My one that's complaint fine. is, is I feel like that the chest can come untapped just because the, like the arms are on ratchets, and so when you're fiddling around with those, like I don't know if yours does. Oh yeah. My I mean, like you just kind of have to have to hold the oh, chest, yeah. like if you're mess, like, and it's really only like if you're, again, like moving the arms like that. Um, yeah, mine does it, but I'm super gentle, so that's probably why. Yeah. But again, it's like I feel like again, it's a nitpick kind of thing that it's not a huge deal. Um, but if I I'm and the big nitpick for me is right here. There you go. There you go. Wrist gaps. <sighs> yeah. We already mentioned it. It's it a like little disappointing in a toy of this quality, this goodness this completeness for this price that he still doesn't have covers. 
Because we saw with arthritis problem that they can, in fact, figure out how to put covers on these type of gaps. But (sighs) whatever. It's It's not not a deal or anything. It's just, yeah, it's, like I said, disappointing. Feels like it should have. not egregious. I think you could get a. Someone will make a set that has really simple fillers that you just probably tab like right into the slot on the wrist yep. and take out when you put them into um, duck mode. If you like conspiracy theories, you might think that Hasbro put those tabs there on purpose for that sort of thing. Oh, wow. I do love conspiracy theories. Because <laughs> they know Ron those says, kids are out there. Ron says that uh, we should do a Volcanicus from, this, uh, from these designs. I mean, okay, sure. If they can somehow make that not compromise the individual figures, that's fine. I'm good with what I have. Yeah, I'm good with what I have too, but whatever. Volcanic is a cool idea. So I feel like overall that this is probably like the second best figure of Studio Series 86, would you say? Yes. Hot Rod Possibly first. One. Yeah, Hot Rod is definitely first. For me, it's a tie, I think, between those two. Really? All right, cool. Yeah, I I don't know. Like, I guess that's just a little bias for me that I just like Grimlock more. So um, this is probably the most fun I will have messing with one because I have fun in both modes. I, you know, we've been talking to... One of us in the um, Discord chat lately about collecting, like, you know, a form of collectible cars. And I've never had an interest in cars. I know that seems weird as a Transformers fan, but, like, I don't really enjoy playing with cars, but I do enjoy playing with dinosaurs. So I think that's why I enjoy this more, even though I complained and complained about the alt mode. You guys like it a little more than that, but it's got all sorts of little, you know, idiosyncrasies you can complain about like i think some people will feel like the proportions are a little weird in robot mode just because he's not skinny like um the toys have always been g1 grimlock was very skinny masterpiece grimlock is very skinny in the legs and this one is not he's bulky he feels more proportionate <laughs> which feels disproportionate and also the size of his head you know is big for the first time so it also feels a little off it's interesting that that's just kind of how it fell yeah, that's the thing is, is I, I just feel like, I mean, this is a chunky guy, and I mean, it's, yeah. again, one of my favorite Grimlocks. I think it's definitely, I mean, the fans' toys, like the third-party versions are, you know, are better, but um, I I do like this better than the Masterpiece mm-hmm. overall, um, just because, again, that's an old design. I think if they redid it, it'd probably be better. Um, and it's, it's by far like my favorite of like any of the mainline versions we've ever got. Like, I feel like yeah. this is kind of like the Earthrise prime where it's like, all right, I, I have my definitive mainline figure. Like I'm not going to have to worry about like getting another Grimlock. Like it can go on my shelf. I, you know, I don't need to upgrade and, and whatever. Yep. I agree. And I hope it's, he's a portent of things to come. Bring me the rest of the Dinobots. Bring them to me now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's the thing that would be super exciting. Cause again, like the Power of the Primes ones weren't horrible, you know, but it's, I mean, they had their shortcomings. And I think that yeah. these ones are just going to be, you know, act, you know, really, really nice looking ones. Um, yeah. For me, the Power of the Primes ones only exist to be a Volcanicus because, well, these are prettier. Yeah. And I think the MFT ones are prettier. And I have those as well. I will collect anything that I think looks good. So, and no restrictions. Christian, I guess it's know. good that you didn't have to get the Volcanicus, uh, the Takara one, right? Yeah, you know, I um, I was going to get that one if I hadn't seen the Slag leak. Because if, if they were just going to do Grimlock for Studio Series, I would have gotten the Takara Volcanicus because those decos for Robot Mode and uh, Dino Mode are very nice. I have a Volcanicus, Volcanicus combiner that I really like. I put all the upgrade kits on it, and it'll stay that way forever. But I really wanted some individual Dinobots. So if Studio Series wasn't going to happen, and I didn't believe it was going to happen, that would have been mine. But uh, since Studio Series is happening, I didn't have to. Yeah. I think we all three managed to skip that, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. The Dakar Good for one. Us. Yeah. 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 Well, well and and we're nice. skipping the um, what's the what's the other one we're skipping, Christian, that we canceled? Ab- Abominus. Oh, Abominus. Abominus. Yeah. So, yeah it looks too. good. It doesn't look, you know, three times as expensive as the one I already have. Good. Yeah. That was kind yeah, of where I, I was at too. Very close to ordering the Volcanicus, but I'm really glad I didn't because I got that chance to get the oversize, and that's enough for me. So go get this Grimlock and hope for that sure. the rest of the Dinobots are on their way. And if They've they're not, one. I don't think this will hurt your collection. It won't. By itself. It'll just be it's... sad. Money. Right? It doesn't say Grimlock by himself it would be okay, but oh no, Grimlock really gets lonely at that time. Um. But yeah, like I, I would say this is definitely worth it. Like, I feel like that this is probably, I, I think the best leader class figure that we've had in a long time might be one I of the I think so too. Ever, honestly. This is like the first time I haven't felt disappointed in, after paying for a leader class figure at full price in a long time. Even though Double Dealer was big and yeah. interesting, I was definitely disappointed with what I got for that price. I agree. And, and like, I really like the Earthrise Prime. Like, I think it's a definitive Prime, but, again, it's just not as impressive, impressive as this. Like, I mean, the size and weight of this is just really nice. Yeah, I want to say that Beast Wars Megatron is just as good, but he's just not. Beast Wars Megatron is quite good. It's not as so, good as Grimlock. So, Christian, which would you rather have? Only Grimlock, right? Or only get like two or three of the five Dinobots. Depends on which two or three. <laughs> like, if, like... The, if the three were Slag and Sludge, I think that would make sense. Because Snarl and Swoop came later. Trio. Well, in the Swoop, like, it, I mean, the Power of the Primes figure is not horrible. I mean, it, I'm sure it's horribly out of scale with this, but... Yeah, I, um... I know you didn't ask me, but I personally would be fine with any outcome. Like if we, even if we just got the two like later Dinobots, I'd be okay with that. I just put them together. It'd be a little weird, but if we just got the SOS Dinobots, you know, soon, and then the other two were left as a Haney, maybe sometime in the future, I'm okay with that as well. But again, if they really want to go studio series and say this is movie, then it needs to be the four who showed up in the movie. Right. Which I would prefer for it to be five. Yeah. Snarl feels like the one that they would release in Generations. Whatever that is at that point. Sure, yeah, whatever. That's fine. Whatever it takes. Or they could do a commander pack with Sludge and Snarl or whatever. Make oh, big. they could do like Sludge and Swoop. Yeah. And the commander pack. That would be cool. Make Sludge big. Bigger, yeah. I wouldn't mind if he was bigger, although then his robot mode would be out of proportion because he wasn't bigger there, but whatever. I don't know. I think a leader plus plus a Voyager, that would equal, what, 80 bucks, right? Well, a leader, a leader plus a Voyager is 80 bucks. Yeah. yeah, a leader plus and not a... Like a leader plus and a Voyager minus... I think that only would make sense because Swoop's a wingspan. Yeah. If they really wanted to, like, Swoop has to have, like, big, long wings. So, hey. Anyway. I would be fine with Swoop just being a regular, um, or with um, Sludge just being a regular leader class, just so yeah, he's not just spitball. out of proportion in robot mode. I'm trying to give every reason for the whole team to have him. I would like to get all of them. And this, like, like, I don't like to spend more than like a little over a hundred on a team. This would be like a two hundred fifty dollar team and I am all in. Yep. Give it to me. I would drop it all tomorrow. Just bring it to me. Wow, wow. Okay. Yep. I might Um, even buy two sludges for the inevitable upgrade kit to make paddles. Book club is going to be Dark Cybertron chapter seven through nine. So getting to the last half of that there. Yep, we're on the second half. Yeah. It's great. Come read it with us. Uh, Sunday nights at 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern on the Discord. Um, 
Monday night. Uh, check us out, the TYLP. Uh, we talked about whether or not we'd ever be done collecting and kind of like ultra collectors and all that. So it, it was a fun discussion, though. So uh, so check that out. Uh, and then also check out Cut the Tape. Uh, should be out this week as well. So um, thank you to everyone in the chat. Uh, Phil, Ron... Steve, Randall, Catherine, um, Paul, James. Um, yeah, thank you guys. And thank you uh, for being with us tonight. Yeah, thank Anything you. Anything to add before we go? Yeah, it, thanks for suggesting Grimlock for tonight. If you guys have suggestions for next week, definitely let us know. They were also saying X Pants, uh, Christian. So. All right. Well, I guess X Pants it is. I want to do X pants. I've got him close by. We're, we're gonna have to, uh, si since uh, Christian, you didn't get yours. We're gonna have. To, I did not. Uh, we're, we're gonna have to uh, pull in a uh, pinch hitter. Phone a friend. And ph phone a friend and, and get someone else here on, so that we can have some more opinions. So. I'm actually as big as Woodlock. I'm X pants. See. <laughs> He's so. very excited. I can't all transform mine. Very exciting. There you go. All right. Well, thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.